We're back and this time we're going to look at status-based multiple condition formulas. In other words, how to calculate the output of a value based on two conditions. For this scenario, other logical functions such as AND or OR can be combined with the IF function. So let's go ahead, I'm going to navigate back to my account to show you how we can get started with our AND function. Scrolling over to the right hand side, we can see that I have two columns here, one for my if and, if and function, and then one for my if or function. Let's start with the if and function, which can be used within an if formula to allow you to test for multiple conditions in order for a value to be displayed. So when using this, I'm gonna click in to show you the formula that I've created. All conditions must be met in order for a value to be shown. If only one or none of these conditions are met, the value placed in the formula that is defined for conditions that are not met will be shown instead. So let's talk about this a little bit more in-depthly. Looking at my board, let's say in this scenario, my aim is to meet a 14 business day SLA. So in other words, to complete video requests within 14 days, that is my goal. Therefore, I've gone ahead and I've created this formula, which I just showed you briefly. And this if and statement is specifically looking at where if my dates, my days Requ uh, since request received excluding weekends column is greater than that 14 day SLA. And if my status column where I'm tracking the progress of each request is equal to working on it, then output over time with that little X emoji, otherwise output on time with that green check emoji. If I go over in terms of the status column that I've pulled from, just to show you more in context, we can see that this is my primary status column where I am tracking the progress of all of my video request tasks. So that is something that I'm referring to in this specific formula. So going back again, um, the idea is my formula, my if formula is considering if and whether or not the this specific date column right here which is actually a formula column, if that calculation, the days since request received excluding weekends is greater than 14, as well as the status is equal to working on it, then it will output that over time. So right here, as an example, we can see that it has been over those 14 days since my request has been received and my status here is working on it, it's not yet done. So that means it's going to output that over time. It hasn't been done on time. This one right here, 19 days, it has gone over the 14 day period. Um, however, it is marked as done. And so that is why it is showing as completed on time. In a similar fashion to the AND condition, the OR function also allows you to test for multiple different conditions in order for a value to be displayed. The main difference between the two is that for the OR condition, only one of the conditions placed must be met in order for a value to be shown. So right here, if I just scroll over to the right a little bit more, we can see that I actually, with the formula that I input, all of the outputs are showing review needed. The reason why at this moment is because it's taking into consideration whether or not the days calculated in my days since request received, excluding weekends formula, is greater than 14. So if that one condition is met alone, it will output as review needed. Um, and similarly, if my status where I'm tracking the progress is equal to stuck, if that one condition is met, it will also output review needed. Otherwise, if um, neither of these conditions are met, then it will simply just put out on time. So just to give you an idea, let's say for example, my welcome video, if I scroll over to the left-hand side, we can see here that it's been 19 days. If I adjust this so that let's say the request was received on the 14th of July, 
it's now going to show that the request was received 11 days excluding weekends and now it's going to adjust to show that it's been completed on time because that one condition was met where uh, the days since request received excluding weekends is not greater than 14. In my example, let's say website homepage, it's not yet at the 14 days. However, my status is equal to stuck, which is why it's showing that the review is in fact needed. So that's something to consider um, when you are uh, tossing between the if and or if or statements. Um, this is what would be expected in terms of behavior with those specific functions. Okay.